Hey there, YTPC New Jersey Piper Ben here. Forgive the crow. He's across the street on top of a tree mocking me, I guess. <laughs> Having some Cornell and Deal Briar Fox in my Stanwell handmade Danish selected briar. I can't remember what shape number this is. It's kind of hard to find. I think it's either a 22 or a 19. But yeah, it's not exactly clear looking on like Pipedia and things, but anywho, yeah, it's a nice little pipe. This is one of the ones that I might be giving away. I haven't decided yet. It's got a, the bowl is tapered uh, down to the draft hole, so it's not a very big bowl. So pretty short smoke, for me at least. But we'll see. So quickly just wanted to do a VR for smoking cardboards giveaway. Uh, Steve is doing his 200 sub gaw. And uh, he wanted us to talk about uh, like our favorite gift from childhood. Like what was the most memorable gift we received as a kid. And he had a funny story about how, you know, his parents didn't have a lot of money growing up, so he got a, uh, and he wanted an Xbox, so he got a, uh, a box that was shaped like an X, and yeah, it's a good sense of humor to keep, uh, to keep life trucking along, it's, 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 it's required, so yeah, it's a funny story. <laughs> I had something similar I thought about where, uh, my evil brother, he, he just, you know, he, my brother was basically a jerk growing up and not like not like you know evil or anything but just kind of mischievous and you know gave me a hard time and he was he's seven years older than me but uh yeah but <laughs> I got this gift from him for Christmas one time and it was just this enormous box and I unwrapped it and opened the box and inside of that was a slightly smaller box that was also wrapped and I think there were about six or seven layers of boxes until eventually I got down to a tiny little box within that box was my own micro machine I don't know if you remember those little toy cars that were very popular for a while um, but yeah, they were basically about three quarters of an inch long. <laughs> Pretty genius way for a toy company to make money off of uh, using less materials. <laughs> but uh, yeah, got a good laugh out of that. That's not my answer though. But I, my, my, my real answer is um, probably the first time I ever got a bike. Because as a kid, you learn how to ride a bike. It's kind of a serious, momentous sort of thing. And that's the first thing you ever really obtain that kind of opens your world up, you know. Uh, it kind of expands the boundaries uh, with which you exist. So, you know, depending on your circumstances, we, we grew up in kind of a small town, um, you know, suburb basically type situation. But not, not really even that, because well, I, I don't know what technically a suburb is, but we were about 30 miles from a decent sized city, that city being Columbia, South Carolina, the capital, you know. Um, but yeah, but a quiet area, relatively safe. So, you know, when we would go out to play, we would go out to play and explore different areas, go in the woods, go play on the school grounds when the school wasn't open. But, yeah, just riding the bike everywhere. Um, you know, I think at some point we would even get out probably a good four or five miles from the house. Which, 
is literally like the other side of town because the town's really not that big so you know just uh that that just kind of opens up your perspective a little bit and again that that ability to explore that ability to get a decent distance from your house a decent a decent distance from your comfort zone uh in a relatively short time period versus like walking you know so yeah it just had to be a bike i definitely thought of you know when i was a kid probably would have been about 1985 1986 i did actually get a, a nintendo the first nintendo entertainment system for my birthday and that was a that was obviously a huge deal as well um you know just sort of started off my world of you know playing video games and so i was addicted to quite a few of those games and then eventually gave way to the Super Nintendo, and I was definitely into a lot of those games. And that's kind of where it ended for me. I didn't continue with video games after the Super Nintendo. And that's not to say, well, we've had a PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. Um, but I was never really into games that much. I, I just, I just, I, I lost the ability to give, to give games a lot of time in my life it's funny how the attention span of a kid how you can devote time and energy and just mental resources to beating a game as a 10 year old kid that you just cannot there's no possible way I could do that as an adult it's interesting you know what you can allow what you allow yourself to devote time to and mental energy to I guess it's strange. But yeah. So that was my... Uh, it's going to be my story for your golf. Uh, congrats on your subs. Uh, your channel's really awesome. You're very down-to-earth, um, friendly guy. That's quite evident in your uh, videos and your personality and everything. So I'm going to obviously continue to support your channel. If you're not subscribed to Smoking Cardboard, uh, please make sure to rectify that quickly. I'll put a link in this video to his channel. All right, take care, guys. Have uh, be excellent to each other.